Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something shook. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. And then the hurt child became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. Y'all week been finishing things, cleaning up more, started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel like, like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. Okay. So, do you have a part you'd like to get to know better? Yeah, most definitely the part that um, hates my boss. Mm hmm. All right. Because, um, how should I put it? Over the last year, I had at times um, days or weeks of massive, absolutely most massive anxiety at work. And mm -hmm. I already, um, when I started to get into radical honesty, um, it just began to click for me, um, at least intellectually, that basically anxiety um, is like a cold version of anger and I've been repressing from as early as I can remember my anger. Yeah. Did you say a cold version? Exactly. Like because mm -hmm. in terms yeah. of sensations, it feels the same as anger does, but um, like my body gets ice cold. Yeah. While yeah, that makes sense when it's me. angry, it gets warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this comes up when you're I use the word triggered by your boss. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there... Because, um, mm -hmm. Go ahead. I was going to ask if there are parts that disagree with this part. Are there parts that don't hate your boss? Yeah. Um, like last time, it's still with many things, um, quite, let's say, um, internal um, chaos, or it's not really that ordered yet. Mm -hmm. But because in the end, how should I put it, at his core, he's a super nice guy. Um, at his core, I like him, but um, he's basically a massive narcissist and mm -hmm. has massive anger issues. And okay. um, with repressing my own anger, so... Mm, I already see from talking, I just don't embody it yet, but from talking, I already hear that it's more about the anger and not about him as a person that I hate. But mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, what do I want to say now? Um, blah, blah, blah. So, um, and um, I just can't deal with his anger management issues anymore. Yeah, that makes and sense. And I realized before mm -hmm. I, um, I and, and, and I can't deal with it because in because this anxiety then gets so massive in terms of symptoms, the part yeah. that, ha that uh, protects me using the anxiety takes over so completely and it's so exhausting. All right, all right. Well, let's let's see if we can get to know that part then. Mm -hmm. So, what's it like 
in or around your body when it comes up? Mm. I feel it at um, different parts of the uh, of the body. Um, like sometimes I feel it on the left side um, of um, my heart. Sometimes I feel it um, at my belly on the right side below the just below the rib. And I do notice my body gets tense, and but uh, and but my right side is always more. I don't know if it's more flexible. Let's say energetically, it's more free. And because I do notice that on the left side, my body is, feels like it's much more stuck up in the inside. Okay. Okay. And are you able to notice it now? I mean, does can you conjure it now when, when you think about it? Okay. Yeah, how, yeah um, because uh -huh. what I noticed with this anger, because I do notice that I'm blended, I'm not uh, like I'm... I'm not as uh, I'm not a uh, hashbrit I'm not badly blended but I'm a little mm -hmm. bit more than let's say 50% blended mm -hmm. and what I do notice with this anger part interestingly when I'm not blended with anxiety is that um I feel a rush of energy going from my knees towards my feet both of them okay does the does the anger uh feel like a different part from the anxiety so I feel like two different parts Yep, it feels like the anxiety is um, laying over the anger, like I'm um, trying to keep it away from me. Okay, yeah. Um, yesterday, um, because yesterday I had a longer, pretty like, extreme bout of anxiety, um, suddenly it visualized across, because yesterday it was across my chest. It was, it was like um, a metal chain, uh, or metal, yeah, metal chain rope, like across my chest, like... Um, those Asian um, arm, um, upper body armors. Okay, yes, yes. And so which of these are we targeting first? Are we, are we trying to get to know the anxiety or the anger first? Um, because of repressing or having repressed anger for so long, I'm more curious, uh, how should I put it? I feel the need of... Um, Basically, um, my anger, uh, the angry part has this massive need of being hurt. And yeah. in my caring part, or maybe in, in more in myself, um, I really want to um, listen to the angry part. Okay, good. So let it know that. Let it know mm -hmm. that you really want to listen to it now. And it's in, it's in the right place to be heard. Mm -hmm. Just see how it reacts to that. It's grateful. It doesn't fully trust yet because the anxiety part is also um, a bit, um, let's say, in the background. So I do feel um, it as well. Okay. But um, I feel it much less than usual when it's active. Yes. Okay. Well, we can so check in like with that. It's, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, you know, you can check in with the anxiety part and ask it to give you some space so you can do this work with the anger part. See, see if it's up for that. Yeah, it is. It didn't fully leave, but it um, stepped back even further. Mm -hmm. And um, so basically I agreed with it, like um, if anger gets out of control, that then it can step in again immediately. Right. And that's its concern, right? So it sounds like you've exactly, understood yeah. its concern. Mm -hmm. Great. And and that I think that's a wise move. We're, we're letting it know that it's it's welcome mm -hmm. and it can do its, it's, it's welcome to do its job. Um, mm -hmm. And we're asking it to just give space to, to focus on this one part. All right. And how are you feeling towards the anger now? The strongest feeling impulse is feeling sorry for it. Sorry mm -hmm. that it has to be angry and sorry that I didn't uh, or wasn't able to listen to it for so long. So yeah. there's regret with feeling sorry. Yeah. 
And it sounds like it comes from a compassionate place. Oh, yeah. And you might just let it know, let it know that you're sorry that you, you know, haven't been able to listen to it as much or as soon as you wanted or... Yeah. You could ask it what it wants you to know. Basically, it wants to talk about everything it's angry at. Okay. And how do you respond to that? I'm a bit scared, but um, so basically the excited part is still here, but um, I'm uh, willing to listen and I really want to listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course, none of that has to be shared with me or shared on a podcast or any of that. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't so mind yeah. sharing. So yeah, if you want to listen to it. Because basically what it's um, incredibly angry at is um, the emotional abuse I have let myself go through since having been the tiniest toddler, since having the earliest memories. And yeah. basically with now um, yesterday having seen that easy experiences in life are possible, that I always had to pull all those hard experiences into my life. That I always had basically um, had to suffer. And it's really, um, a, and I should put it, on the one hand, it's angry and on the people on the outside. On the other hand, mm -hmm. it's also angry at me for that. Yeah. Does that all make sense to you? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so show it that it makes sense to you. Is there more that it wants you to know about itself or its job? The first thing was that basically um, I should, uh, uh, um, now, well, I have to um, let it run further. Let it run further? Um, let it uh, run the rent further. So um, oh, to yeah. basically um, to um, let off the steam further. I mean, it's your call if you if if you feel like that's a that's important for you to to understand it better i do notice the anxiety part stepping back in and like i'm getting a bit of worried more so um the ranting is getting more numb yeah that's a good description you could uh let the angry part know that you know, that there are these concerns from other parts um, and that, mm. you know, you could just ask Something, it to... Um, that came up now with mm -hmm. um, the anxiety part being next to it because um, the anxiety part is super scared of um, it getting out of control because I'm yeah. um, basically all of my parts are aware that um, if it would get out of control, it would murder easily. Um, I gotta be okay. openly honest about it. It would completely yeah. murder. There's no mm -hmm. way to phrase it in any nicer terms. And right. um, because of yeah. that, to let out this murderous energy, sure. um, my angry part would really like to, um, be, because I'm already in the past before IFS, mm -hmm. um, basically um, I got myself a punching bag and some stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I would like to let this, energy, this fury out, let's say, therapeutically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming that there aren't people in the room with you right now, right? None at all. Okay. So you can just let the angry, let the anxious part know that it's just you 
It's just you in this part. Let it know that you're okay listening to it. And you could also ask the angry part to share with you mm. in a way that doesn't feel overwhelming, you know? Something that was just interesting when I just uh, said it to the angry part mm. was um, because basically the, um, the I'm sorry, to the, um, to the, um, anxiety, the, the part be um, using the anxiety to protect myself from anger. Um, mm. Basically, um, this part is scared of, uh, not just because of murdering in general, it's more mm -hmm. scared of killing myself. Obviously, I won't uh -huh. kill myself. And, um, but um, basically, this anxiety was then like, uh, what um, if it teams up with a suicidal part? And sure. then the angry part was like, oh, I mean, was like, oh, please. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah. the, uh, showing that it's, it was or it is. Um, disappointed in the anxiety part, not trusting it to not kill myself. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's see if we can kind of separate them a little bit. Again, you might mm -hmm. you might think about as you know putting them in different rooms or holding mm -hmm. them in separate hands. And it sounds like the anxious part needs more attention and needs you to listen to mm -hmm. its concerns. And True. maybe maybe more than listen to its concerns, it needs to see that. It needs to see that you have self energy now, and that you're yeah. you're in control, and that you're able to work with parts. So you can do that by by showing it, by working with it for a moment, just tuning into that anxious part, being with it. I do notice now all the more the how should I put it the fight between um, the angry and the um, mm -hmm. anxious parts because mm -hmm. um, I also because of having had this anxiety equally as long as the angry part um, because of um, that I how should I put it I liked the um, or, or I disliked the anxiety always much yeah. more than I dislike the re repressed anger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, um, I, I, while I, the anxiety I I took mean. over, um, I always, um, I get easily dissociated because of um, just uh, liking it so much less than the angry part. Yeah. So how does it feel now to just tune, tune into it and to ask the angry part if it'll hold on for a moment while you tune into the anxious part? Because I feel... Right for you, or does it work for you? It does, and um, what's also um, fascinating about it is because I noticed now my body um, having started to move by itself from, um, how should I put it, um, but from basically I know that I have a lot of trauma energy stored in my shoulders, and mm -hmm. the, the shoulders um, started uh, moving strongly now that I tried to or try to connect more with my anxiety on part on purpose. Good. Good. You could ask the anxious part how old it thinks you are. It um, doesn't respond to that. It basically keeps um, repeating a line that basically goes like, but I need to keep protecting you or need to keep yeah. to protect you. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe you could ask um, it like, how old, how old is the part that it protects? You know, does it feel like it's protecting a young, a young you? Or does it think it's protecting your current age, you? Um, the first response was 
to everybody. Mm -hmm. Sure. And how does but it like I, doing that? Um, the anxiety um, now that um, I am getting a bit, I, know, I noticed that I get more into self-energy, I get more unblended. Um, it starts to feel like the other parts very young. I can't say an age just yet and it doesn't reply it, but mm -hmm. it feels really, like really, really young energy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so just let it know that you see that. You see that it's, mm -hmm. it wants to protect everybody and it also has, you know, specific concerns about mm -hmm. young parts that it protects. You could try to show it some appreciation for the hard work that it's done and its intention. Seems like it wants to be listened to just equally like the angry part. <laughs> yeah, well, they all do. They, you know, and we need to we need to listen to all of them. That's so it's it's fine. It's fine for this part to go first if, if that is fine for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So you just keep asking those questions. You know, what is it? What does it want you to know about it? What are its concerns? Mm. What it wants me to know is that everyone always, uh, like um, all those assholes have to be, uh, has been always um, so hard on me. And yeah. um, I asked then um, which assholes or who are the assholes and was like everyone. Yeah. Does it feel like other? Does it feel like mostly other parts, or does it feel like mostly external? People? Um, other parts and external people. Yeah. All right. So just let it know that you see that, and that that makes sense to you. It feels like it's being beat up by all these different beings. Exactly. Yeah. And how are you feeling towards it now? Much more compassionate. Uh -huh. And I would really like to um, um, help it. I would really like to, yeah, yeah I would really like yeah. to help it. Uh, but um, um, the intuition doesn't, uh, or, or I don't know how yet. And um, when I asked, um, what can I do um, to help you trust me? It was like, I'm too scared to trust you. Yeah, so just stay with the listening. You know, mm -hmm. let it know that you do want to help it. And I think the way that we can help any part is we have to just listen, listen, really understand where they're coming from, what they're afraid of. And we also just have to keep reintroducing ourselves sometimes so that they see that the self is not something that they need to protect and that it's typically other parts and that we can help those parts too. I am, um, seems like um, I begin to notice a difference, uh, like the difference of how, um, I mean, difference in, uh, I begin to, yeah, to learn, to feel the difference between um, anxiety and untrusting, not trusting, mm. low trustworthiness, because yeah. um, how should I put it? Mm. I was asking because um, it wanted to protect and the anger part basically also wanted to protect. 
um, how would it feel to combine, um, like to merge together both of them to have um, the strengths and both were excited. But then I felt this different way of um, anxiety and noticed, okay. Uh, and basically it was like, uh, actually, well, basically um, with scared of trust, it was like, well, I just don't trust you yet. Right, right. So yeah, just continuing to build that trust mm -hmm. by listening and, and being present. You might ask it how it likes that job that it does or how long it's been doing that job. Um, something that seems that seems to be a pattern in my parts, but they are not really um, communicating in words to me is um, because I think last time uh, we were talking about um, how a shame part from childhood about um, nutrition um, merged into my biggest fan who wants to become like Goku. Basically, suddenly now um, both this anger part and the um, anxious part uh, started to play fight like uh, two little Gokus. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like they play, um, I don't know which kind of martial arts, but yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, does that feel, do you feel like you're still present there? Yeah, um, I'm basically, hmm, actually, no, that's a, another part of me that's present because I just noticed that I saw myself from third person um, mm -hmm. watching them, uh, like watching and uh, looking at them fascinated and a bit happy that they're at least getting in contact. Mm -hmm. But that was not me in self who was looking at them. Right. Yeah, and they have they have a long history of being in contact with each other, right? Basic, well, um, not in this good way, okay. like this okay. play fight, not like this, um, how the anxiety, well, well, hmm. I don't know if you can call it contact because, um, basically anxiety always was a barrier for my anger. Mm -hmm. Right. So I guess they have a, a long history of a, of vying for control or yeah that's more precise yeah responding responding to a, an event in different mm -hmm. ways yeah so i would just try to insert yourself back in there and make sure that you know parts parts just going at it with each other is kind of <laughs> is kind of what normal experience is like um, mm -hmm. when we're not when we're not in self energy. So it it is okay to to have a little blending. It is okay to have mm -hmm. um, parts communicate, but that's it's again. It's like if we're in the room, if we're present, and if we're kind of mediating that or mm -hmm. or available to them as they're doing it. Basically, like um, the part in our last um, conversation, it too can't really imagine a different um, job to do as of yet. Yeah, but, which is okay. Um, but uh, wait, um, ah, never mind. Um, I will, because I don't have my notes with me right now anyway. Because some days ago, um, I was in conversation with a different part that. Um, let's say um, has um, negative behavior or behavior that I don't like that much. And that one was like, I would do so many um, positive things. I don't even know where to start. Okay. Um, I don't just remember right now which part that was. So it would, it would encourage you to do positive things? Mm, that different part who said that some days ago was um, like it in itself would do so many positive things. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Right. Right. Okay. 
Well, what feels Basically, right? Basically, um, mm-hmm. right now the um, um, the anxious part and the angry part both are um, because this um, play fight going on like right now. They're both like, well, just let us be. Let us have some fun for once. And how do you respond to that? Um, there's a bit of suspicion and worry, but overall, mm-hmm. I'm like, sure. Go for it. Again, if as you're long present, as they don't really take me over. Right. If you're present and they have something they want to do or mm-hmm. or show you. Hmm. I'm asking if they want to show me something or if they want to say something else. And what I was kind of meaning was if they want to just mm-hmm. do that play fighting, mm-hmm. um, you know, they're showing you that, for example. That's true. Yeah. They're just grateful that I posit- allowed them to positively connect for once. Hmm. And that makes me grateful too. Yeah, it's really interesting. Because now I also feel in the body um, much more balanced. Like um, my left side isn't energetically as dense anymore as it used to be at the start of our conversation. Uh It's not as, how should I put it, as free as the right side yet. But yeah, there's more of a balance now. Okay. Hmm. Well, what's next? I don't, I'm not sure what to do with, with these two parts that mm-hmm. want to just engage like this. What do you think? I think it's um, okay to let them be. Mm-hmm. In regards to, um, because I imagined, um, using the energy of anger externally, therapeutically, as we were talking earlier, there then came up different um, um, parts trying to hold me back um, from doing so now. Mm-hmm. So there's definitely more in re- so based so I mean more parts who have trouble with um, my anger because I don't well not because I'm not sure if we talked last time about. Um, me with repressing anger, never having had any compassion whatsoever for anger. And even now, most part, not wanting me to actually have um, a compassion from anger. Right, right. But in this space, you, you feel like you're able to, and you're able right. to have compassion mm-hmm. for both those parts, yeah. Oh yeah, right now I do very much so. And both of these parts, I would consider them to be to be protectors. Um, you might mm-hmm. try to learn what it is that they're protecting. Maybe kind of bring them together with that, finding that common, typically exile, part. There, they've basically been like, we're not sure you could handle that. And then I was like, but I already got to know um, other parts who 
um, were really gruesome in terms of, um, let's say, what has happened to them or in mm-hmm. terms of um, what they had to do to themselves in order to keep me alive. And but and then they were like, well, but they're just protect us like we are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and it's it's reasonable, right? I mean, mm-hmm. they don't they don't think you could handle it. They maybe they have, haven't seen you handling it, and that makes sense for yeah, them not to trust true. you with them. Mm-hmm. So I, I think that you know one one kind of step in that direction is at least identifying what that is. Doesn't mean we're going to go there. It doesn't mean exactly. you're making any promises about it, but it's just kind of learning more about the landscape. Mm. Yeah, because um, I already had asked then afterwards um, if I could at least take a glance at, the, uh, mm-hmm. at um, them or it. And mm-hmm. then they were again like, well, we're really not sure you could handle that. Hmm. And we're like basically um like come back later. Okay, how's that how's that feel to you? At the moment that's okay. Yeah. Will you come back later? Most definitely. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. No need to rush anything. Yeah, that's true. Um that um hmm because in terms um i don't know if we well basically because this makes me um remember something that um that i had noted for this as well um having this part who wants to rush through um let's say parts with compassion mm-hmm. like to to basically have an endedness to this so to say right Yeah. And you can just acknowledge that part and be with it also. The anger part and the anxious part Huh. Seems like uh, because last time um, the parts had pretty dry humor. Seems like that's another pattern <laughs> on mm-hmm. these ones. Was it dry humor? And then, um, well, I started to talk to the part who wants to rush through, and this part is like, well, it uh, it just hurts so much that it just it doesn't stop. The part that wants to rush through says that. Exactly, who just wants um, to be done with um, having to deal with these personal issues. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. There's kind of, there's pain and grief on, e- on either side of the, of the fence here, whether we do the inner work or don't. That's true. Yeah. And just let it know that with with this work, you're able to respond to it directly. You're able to respond to that pain and kind of uh, kind of own it, kind of um, make it something that that you're able to to deal with, rather than relying on the outside world or, or trusting something else to resolve it um that's um something about um how should I put it? Mm, let's say an, an issue with self leadership that my parts have because yeah. that's something that i um noticed when i'm no matter if i'm blended or or I should put it, no matter the degree of how blended i am because um, I noticed that inner work um, doesn't matter um, if, for example, right now with you, with um, a therapist or, or um, guided meditation like the ones from Dick Schwartz and so on, mm-hmm. um, as long as, how should I put it, as I can 
give away the responsibility, so to say, or um, to have someone else in charge of me, yeah, it's yeah. Um, comparably easy. Uh, like, yeah. um, but um, when I try to do it fully alone, it's hard as hell. Yeah, well, these parts don't trust you to do it. Mm. Yeah. Huh, true. I didn't uh, think of it that way that it's uh, so hard because they just don't trust me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, building trust by doing what you're doing, taking the time, listening, mm. asking questions. Um, I was thinking of questions for these protective parts. Mm -hmm. They said that they were concerned, you know, that you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to handle knowing more about the exile. Mm -hmm. You could ask, um, like what they're afraid would happen to you. Like, what does it mean? Couldn't handle it. What, what, what would happen if they revealed that? Basically, it always comes down to the subject of death. In this case, like um, dying from emotional pain. Yeah. Yeah. You might... Um... Um, I was then asking, but what mm -hmm. if um, what you're protecting, for example, would be um, infant me? And then there would be, and then they were like, well, if that would be the case, would you be able to forgive yourself? Hmm. And I had to instantly reply. Um, I noticed that I wasn't in myself, like I saw myself from the outside again. Mm -hmm. But on um, this part, um, then um, I got so blended in, then um, was like instantly like, no, not yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting, that concept, concept of forgiveness. Mm. Um, I know that through IFS we can get to know ourselves. Mm. I think everything else kind of comes, comes with that. Interesting how the energy of the anxious part is different when it's chilled because it was like because basically um, it was it was like basically it um, comes down to that you can forgive yourself then we can show you who we're um, protecting you from. Hmm. Well, it's great. I mean, you're learning. You're you're learning more. You're on the trail. But there's um, another part who is scared shitless of protecting myself because that um, would f um, make feel its existence or its programming. Well, basically the identity around this part, like um, it would have been a complete waste of my life. Um, were you, did you mean if you were to forgive yourself? Exactly, yeah. Uh-huh. Right, right. Yeah, so this part, it's, it wants you to hold on to that feeling of guilt. Um, um, to I don't know if it's a feeling of guilt, but um, mm -hmm. let's say this hard life. Right. It wants you to hold on to right. this hard life, yeah. Yeah. Because this um, part is, um, it's not um, visualizing yet. It's um, like a very... Um, it's um it's more of um like when i am um, try to feel into it i feel it around the um belly but it's more obfuscated energy uh -huh. and it doesn't really visualize it's like um fog yeah. that's the closest thing it visualizes to okay
because truth be told, um, and I'm uh, aware of that intellectually since at least half a year, if not even longer by now, um, in the outside world these days, like uh, this today was a, a minor inconvenience that, that, well, basically with everything going on, keep happening more and more often now, but basically except for, um, let's say, um, my boss we started out with today in the outside world, um, my life could be incredible. Well, basically, um, I don't have any, how should I put it, um, obstacles in the outside world, basically, yeah, uh -huh. these days anymore, except for the boss and, or, or what happened with the boss and um, yeah. my own inconveniences. Yeah. Yeah, what would, it, what would that look like? Just acknowledging that incredibility, that beauty of life. Well, this part that wants me um, to hold on to it, that is like I'm kind of like fighting really strong against it now. I yeah. notice how um, it's really pushing me out of the body because um, interestingly, I still feel the energy, the rush of energy in the feet, but between feet and my head, I don't, I, well, I, I don't, uh, how about it? I don't, don't feel shit, but I feel very numb between the feet and the head. Uh-huh. There's a lot going on. You have a lot of parts going on, and I, and I apologize for some, sometimes losing the thread of, of... It's all good, yeah. No worries. Does it, does it feel good to you? Does it feel helpful for you? Do you feel like what we're doing in this conversation is... Very much so, because okay. um, seeing that uh, there's uh, so much going on, it's um, step by step, um, how should yeah. I Pulling together the threads. Yeah, absolutely. And this is really how, how it typically looks, you know, mm -hmm. starting in IFS is there, I think about kind of opening a room that you haven't looked in in a long time and, and there's all this stuff everywhere. There's like, maybe there's all these people everywhere and, and, oh, yeah, that's you know, true. just, just to get acquainted with them all, um, mm -hmm. to even recognize who's who can take a long time and it can be mm -hmm. very kind of chaotic uh, different parts mm -hmm. contending for your attention. I should put it when I'm not too blended, I'm absolutely fine with that. Uh, because the last weeks, like the last two weeks, I've been more strongly blended, had um, issues um, with um, unblending from these work related parts, also on the week as well. And I should put it because then I noticed that they've been um, fighting against um, what was there. But like right now, I'm. Hmm, interesting, because it's um, basically um, when we were going away, away from the subject of ease, um, I mm -hmm. got more into the, I was allowed more into the body again. But um, but basically, yeah, what I'm trying to say is when I'm un, uh, or more unblended, then um, I'm fine with um, however long it takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and if you're committed to coming back and, and doing mm -hmm. that repeatedly, then... Mm. Can't lose. That's true. Um, I had one thing that I wanted to, just a thought. When the mm. when the when the protective parts were saying that they, um, they were afraid to show you the exile, or mm -hmm. or that they thought you couldn't handle it, mm -hmm. and the fear was emotional death. It felt like death. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I wanted to maybe just put the idea out there for them that this angry part also, you know, it's, or the, the anxious part was afraid that the angry part like would lead to murder, would lead to death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now they're play fighting. True. They've, you know, that, that de-escalation or that kind of look what happens when we put this on the table, look what happens when... Mm -hmm. We come together with self energy. We can take something that feels like murder and turn it into play fighting. That's hmm. you know that's a pretty true. big, pretty big shift, I would say. And so, damn, you might, that's really true. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and so you might just kind of, you know, um, try to pitch that to them. Uh, that idea that the thing that they're afraid of happening with you, which is this which is this emotional death from, from contact with the exile. It may be 
a similar process. Basically, they're iffy about it because um, they're like, um, you're making perfect sense, but, um, and um, they, how should I put it? Um, they um, see that with you, I'm enough in my self energy that mm -hmm. probably I could handle it, but they just don't want to do it just yet. Yeah, sure. And I'm, I wasn't. <laughs> That's, that's fine. I just wanted to put that out there, and mm -hmm. and even if even if they're not so convinced, you know, having that having that experience yourself, mm -hmm. it can be just encouraging to just say oh, yeah. that this is this is worth coming back to. This does this is a, these are big shifts that happen. So what's next? I know that I said um, before we got on the call that it didn't matter so much about uh, the timeline, but I had forgotten that I actually have a I actually have a scheduled call coming up. Ah, um, no worries. How much time? Just about do you ten have? minutes. Uh, mm. I really should go in in five minutes or or less. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm. would it make sense to start addressing one more part because this also um, in the more blendedness um, came uh -huh. up in the last um, days because how should I put it um, there is um, a at least one part if, if it's not a, um, a trait of multiple parts again um, that's really sad about me needing so much guidance to do these things and not being able to do it fully alone if, if you want to go there if it feels mm -hmm. right and if it feels like you're in that self energy I would say go there because yeah, right now I feel uh, very much in the energy energy to do so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just turn it to that part. Ask it what it wants you to know and what it's concerned about. Basically, how should I put it? It wants me to be strong. That's what it's saying. That's what it wants yeah. me to know that it wants me to be strong. Yeah. What does it think about this practice of yours, this IFS practice? Does it see that as strengthening? Very much so, but, um, mm -hmm. and I should put it, in, well, yeah, but um, it wants me to um, be able to do this more completely alone. Yeah, like it wants me to do, be able to do this without, um, like I said, the um, Dick Schwartz guided meditations or mm -hmm. without basically um, being able to um, be with my parts when it's just literally me and silence. Okay. And that I, I, I would bet. Able to, mm -hmm. I would bet. I would bet very good money that that we'll get there. I think so too. Yeah, because yeah. Um, for context, I actually did start with at least um, trying to um, be in complete silence and uh, not purposefully meditate, just to be in complete silence with and uh, with whatever parts come up and um, then start questioning them. At, uh, like I started with doing that every day for 10 minutes to mm -hmm. have at least a start. Yeah. You could try doing it every day for 10 seconds. True. That's I mean, point. sometimes really, really parts check-ins don't need to be, uh, you know, more than that. I mean, they. it's great mm -hmm. to do more than that. I do it often, but mm -hmm. the five second check-ins are really valuable too.
Damn, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I have a little timer that goes off on my phone five times a day. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Just a little just a little bell that rings and and I just tune in and see mm-hmm. see what's going on and see if I recognize anybody or or send a send a little message to whoever I had told I would get back to. It was like, well, as you have another scheduled call, um, I should let you go at this point for now and yeah. um, we'll continue alone and next time with you as well. I hope so. I hope, I hope to see yeah. you on my calendar again. And thank you so much oh, yeah. for your time today. It's, it's nice talking with I you. I have to thank you. Great. It's been really fun. Oh, yeah. Um, about the calendar, I, um, sorry, I have a bit of a brain like now. Um, I can book any time, right? Yes. Like, I mean, the link is still available to do it at whatever yes. possible. Perfect. And if you don't see a time that you like, just let me mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. and we can find another time. Amazing. We'll do it again. Okay. Have a nice rest of your day. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self-energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Ivan, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others. And you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube. And they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there and give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you.